All right. Um, hello, everyone out there that is not watching me on uh, Twitch just yet. Um, this is going to be my first ever Twitch stream for uh, ludonarrativeassonance.com. Uh, my name is Wesley Scott. I am a writer and actor and avid video game player uh, living on the north side of Chicago in a tiny studio apartment that you can't really see right now because um, tonight I am going to do my midnight impressions of Until Dawn. Uh, probably go through about the first hour of gameplay or so. And then um, we'll... Uh, We'll see where we're at after that. I, I'm planning to do a review of this on Monday. Um, and I was going to make my first Twitch stream a, uh, a marathon play session in uh, three parts. But unfortunately, my um, partner in crime, who I use to uh, review these adventure games, uh, didn't want to be on camera. So uh, I'm going it alone tonight. And I'm going to see if anyone joins. And uh, if not, you know, I'll, uh, I'll have a cool video for the website. And uh, maybe next time. So. So sorry, just, uh, just checking my stream here. Bear with me, like I said, first time. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out this, um, the way that the video in this is set up. I don't seem to see my picture in picture window for some reason, and I'm worried about that. So once I can get that figured out, I'm going to start this. Oh, hey, look, looks like we've got some joiners. Hey, guys, sorry, I'm just trying to uh, work out a quick streaming issue here before I get started. All right, okay. Uh, I think that seems to have done the trick, so let's jump in. Sure, I guess that was an, was an explanation of their mechanic, is the first thing that they decided to go with, okay? Did they? Shh, shh, shh. 
deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah has been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, <laughs> I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. So we're going right in here. I thought there'd be some, like, build-up to them actually arriving at the cabin, but they're just... We're here. The killer's Hannah! outside. There's gonna have to be a flashback, right? <laughs> She's here! Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. weekend. Josh. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Right away, this game is freaking beautiful. All right, so it appears we're off to find Josh at the moment. slasher film, I'm guessing he's probably going to be in one of the bedrooms. Let's see if we can do this. Is there even a run button? Oh, what the hell? Twin. Oh, butterfly effect. <laughs> this is pretty cool that they've made, like, uh, 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 an RPG style stat screen for this uh, for this adventure game. Right. Yeah, there's no run. Oh wait, we're back to that now. So this is um. seems to be kind of falling into the uh, every, everyone's gone to the rapture trap of just kind of letting me only go at one speed here. <laughs> yeah, thanks. So. <laughs> oh, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Good one, oh Mike. Oh, my God. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. I'm glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out. And see where it goes from there. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. And she just goes straight for the shirt. This is... Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. 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 It's all gonna happen. Just a stupid prank. Uh, oh, hey, you guys are jerks. Do you know that? Hannah! Find others or wait, Josh. Never go it alone, right? If there's one thing we've learned from Josh. every slasher film ever... Josh! 
never go it alone. So, okay, yeah, so of course, Josh is Guys, there's so someone outside. You can't wake up. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Dad. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. <laughs> oh, shit! Everyone was in on that prank, right? Like, no one... Oh! No one gets to be, like, indignant over, over, over the fact that the, uh, fast, safe, safe, safe. follow whoever's footprints those might be. So I'm going to go after the noise. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? More footprints. Uh, oh god, yeah. Now I'm going to follow the footprints. It's interesting Hannah! how how little the touchpad is actually used and like implemented. Uh, uh, and uh, that's nice. That that was a nice little uh, actual tactile touch to the game. <laughs> Okay, now I can walk faster. Hello? Hello? Oh. Mm, what are you? Possible death of the person who finds it, and the genius tribes believe that butterflies block black drops in these unlock totems. That's the last one we have going on. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So it's kind of like the um, uh, the Amadeus Arkham uh, stuff from uh, Arkham Asylum. Looks like you get those totems and it'll unlock a, the history of this place that you don't know, or, or something to that effect. Hannah! You must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. Yes. So <laughs> yeah, dumb. you really are. In every conceivable way. Hannah, back. Wait, are they being stalked by the predator?
just going to uh, see if I can turn the in-game audio down here a little bit because it seems like the uh, the stream audio and is a little too high. So give me one moment here. Let's are see how that did. things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay, black glove. So... And a killer, maybe? So... so how... Did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Uneasy. Yeah, I, like, okay. I don't think I've ever seen Honestly, a scarecrow that made me happy. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The scarecrow. Definitely the scarecrow. Oh, I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Sure. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Haunted. I don't the care. Scarecrow frightens you, and yet you don't appear to be bothered by the possibility of the supernatural. Of course. I suspect that someone is not being entirely honest with me. Our time's up. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? What is this lip puckering thing that he's doing? you spend 
we're just gonna jump on through this. You know, I've got a thing about unskippables. I today is the one year anniversary oh, okay. of the dreadful right. well, at least tragedy that took one. place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. It's weird how in well, hello, friends like, and fans. TV shows right, and movies, again. How, how often like local police officers right. are interviewed about these things well, and how candid hello, they are friends and fans. to the press. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta oh, say, man. I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the That's annual Elliot Blackwood from Mr. Robot, Winter right Getaway. There. The guy who plays Elliot. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know. If you haven't watched uh, Mr. Robot, watch it. To it's incredible. Let's the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll I gotta look up this actor's name, his whole shtick is being for the sake of my unbelievably creepy. He you know. um he okay, is in Mr. So Robot as well and let's party I always like wonder we're about actors stars, like this okay? like Make if, this one trip we will never forget. If all you right? know your whole career yes! <laughs> just because of how you look and act is just going to be you being creepy as fuck all the time. <laughs> I seem to be getting viewers coming in and out, but I am losing them immediately. It's still just a party of one right now. Um, I'm gonna get better at this. I am. I'm uh, just brand new here. That guy, that guy is really quick. Like anyone shows up on the mountain and is he always carrying that hatchet? If I can go just like straight towards the killer. No, it doesn't look like it. The animations are really beautiful in this game. Like they're they're incredibly natural.
And um, this kind of reminds me of like uh, a Quantic Dream game, like he Heavy Rain so far. This really is indicative of Heavy Rain. Although, even in its opening moments, it makes a hell of a lot more sense than that game made. Climb up. Oh, I guess let's shake the gate first. And, oh, okay. Climb up over here. Uh, uh, I'm probably going to go with safe this entire game. I can, ah! <laughs> there we go. Come on. Jump. Let's jump. All right. She's not dead yet. Way to go, Sam. interesting I wonder I wonder if I'm like it, it said that I need to stay as still as possible I wonder if this is completely blocked because I even had my foot up then if it just says like you know screw it I can't see the the glowy thing so you must not be moving So, tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death, black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Is that, I feel like that's the totem we picked up earlier was the, right, was the, was a black one? Yeah. So, ah, oh great, black is death and red is danger, that's all that I got. Love a butterfly and a premonition of a possible future. Let's see what we got. Yahtzee, death again. Death, wasn't it? Let's see if we can go back to this totem. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, no, no, no. Guidance totem. So that was yellow. So yellow's guidance. Brown is loss. Red is danger. White is fortune. I have a feeling. Well, I guess we see as many fortune totems as we see any other kind of totem, but um, I think they'll be few and far between. Let's keep going. Well, no shit.
one of the greatest minds of our time. Chris? You here? Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello? What do we have here? Oh yeah, we're gonna fucking snoop. Aha! Look who it is. One new message. He knows you. Ah! Chris! That wasn't actually a jump scare. I wasn't scared at all. He has a crush on Ashley, the methodical protective humorist. You scared me. I I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? Right around here. It's going to blow your mind. Actually, I want to take a look at the store real quick. I wonder if I can, like, completely go off the reservation and just go... Like, if someone says, hey, come this way, I can just go... in the total opposite direction. Something tells me probably not. Man, it is... It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, oh, Alright, let's the go with this guy then, I guess. Someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Collect clues. All right. So, a little collectible mission. And these will probably be tied in different ways to each of the characters. So, like, I'm guessing you'll have to go through a few playthroughs to even be able to collect all of these. So, one in Milgram, Victor, Sex Mail, 6 2, Tall Ass, Blackwood Pines. One in a connection with first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Constabulary. Police Monte Provincial de Blackwood. Okay. July 1998. Alright, moving on. Ta da! Pretty rad, right? God, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Here would, goes. Would, would people this age, e like, even know who Grizzly Adams is? Like, have you even seen that show? <laughs> Alright, Dead-Eye Dick. Very forgiving, by the way, not exactly... Call of Duty Shoot level twice. Twitch. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. <laughs> well, 
Anybody and their brother can shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, come on. Let's not kill the squirrel. Nope. I'm glad they gave me a choice there. Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Butterfly effect update. Rats with bushy tails. Chose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remained in nature <laughs> remained in balance. Sam looked at Chris's incoming message. message. Chris was offended by Sam's indiscretions. Okay, so it actually tells you all of the all of the primary events that you can change to get different outcomes. That's pretty cool. going on over here. It must be really hard on Josh. I guess not. I don't know how he keeps it all together. I, I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just going to have to keep an eye on him. He must be going through so much and he seems like the kind of guy who's not going to just ask for help. now. Yeah. Locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. Oh, so I'm Chris now. Yeah, looks like Chris. Yeah, Chris. Let's see what Chris has got here. Honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic, curious. I wonder if anyone maxes any of these bars out, like the like the charitable bar. I wonder if that gets maxed out on it. Something tells me that in a group of uh, high schoolers, the honesty bar. I would say, Chris probably has the highest one. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like a sleeping giant. You gonna publish? What? Your pretty poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Hmm. Oh, wait. Cable car coming in? Oh, wait, no, we're waiting. We're waiting for it. Let's go exploring. Oh. More evidence. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. Mountain. <laughs> yeah, okay, nothing creepy there. What do we got? Anything else? different no just creepy monitor all right yeah okay finally you coming yeah well I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's but Hmm. 
I'm just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about this. Voice happened. acting is trip. really good, <sighs> and yeah. I haven't yet decided you know whether the dialogue is the dialogue Josh is fucking the horrible room, I but i haven't front. yet decided whether di we whether the dialogue is existed, horrible in a really next to Josh started strap good well written kind of way so the teacher or made him move to the front if it's legitimately was... badly written okay so so i got moved to the back and and next to Josh that's how we met i mean and became friends to this day a match made in heaven if it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. You're really hammering this butterfly effect thing. But I will say that so far the voice acting is spot on. Uh, these guys are all doing a kind of um, uh, uh, very <laughs> high school musical kind of, a, like, very expressive sort of acting. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Jess's meters. Ah, so she is even more honest than Chris. Way less charitable. She's funny. She's brave. She's romantic. She's only. A, she's a little curious. Really likes Mike. I have a feeling that everyone likes Mike. Oh, what the hell? Jess. Hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Gotta say, this is getting off to a oh really slow start. I, we were Another I was expecting... Oh, sick, Chris. Look. Got a lot of meat on my bones. Bodies just start dropping. So I know we already had two here. deaths, but that was in a prologue. I was expecting hey, something by this I'm point. I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Um. Yeah, yeah. I want to. I want to hear. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out. I'm in. Huh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. 
Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Ah. M. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. So. Jess has gone on to Mike and M has gone on to Matt. All right. And where's the I'll have you know, I'm terrible with names. Want. So this game is going to be a real uphill battle for me in terms of uh, remembering everyone's names and relationships to each other. But I guess that's why they have the, uh, the side menus for me to getting check. Chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> that probably would have been the first legitimate jump scare, but I saw that in the trailer, so kind of knew it was coming. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. It's fascinating because it's written uh, just like uh, a, a teen uh, horror film, but I can't tell if someone re legitimately wrote it that way, if they were trying to mimic it, or it's, I can't tell if it's good or bad just yet. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and threaten him. Michael, you got to step I'm itching for some violence. It's it's been a very Emily slow and I are start. Together now and that's just the way it is. I'm not going to tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. Be buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just going to head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. I think we got the message. It's kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Crap. That's how you turn the ladies hey, on, could guys. You take these Veiled the rest threats. Of the, way. the bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. Just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing a never go it alone run on this one. Um, I want to find out I really don't what think actually you happens down in a trash or flick yourself. if Seriously? people don't it's cold out split it's up and dark. decide to explore locations You're gonna on their own. You're going to protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's going to steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um, so she's not going to let me go with her. So okay. I guess that Bye. idea's out. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Was that a... Is that another butterfly effect that showed up? Let's take a look. No. There's a crush on Chris. So they let you know that everyone is has a crush on someone in the group. I wonder if someone is going to have a crush on multiple people. And I wonder if anyone is going to have a crush on someone of the same sex. It hasn't happened yet. Let's find out. Oh, oh hello. It's 
Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Hmm. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that. All right. I didn't mean to that was the first legitimate jump what? scare now. I didn't mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh. Oh my god. Hey, well. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Uh... Oh, yeah. Let's do the honest thing. Um, sure. Uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out. Yes. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. But nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... God damn it. Matt. All right, I'm about to... I think I'm running up on an hour into this thing, and we're just starting to get some conflict, so... Oh, check phone. There's no doubt that Jess would check her phone over reading that book. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Run the bench. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Thing. Yeah, Crap. dodge that motherfucker. Gotta try harder than that, hero. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? <laughs> chickadee? Oh. Oh, ah. hi. Hey. Oh, oh snap. Hello, come on. I wonder if Yu Suzuki hey, Mike. knew Boom, what he was doing uh, to this industry <laughs> when he invented QTs and Shenmue. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. That is extremely zen until dawn. Thank you. Oh no! Damn, Jess! Look what you did! I know, I know! Oh no, poor Freddy, poor little Tweety Birdie! Stone cold, Jess! I didn't do it on purpose! I was a little distracted and oh my God. I just saw a target and I aimed for it. Michael? Oh. <laughs> gotcha! It's done! Dun City. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Mm -hmm. Nah, let's hit him. Oh, okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. He's talking about his dick. Did you hear that? Uh, yeah, sounds like... Oh, oh, oh! Jess, look out! No, ah! I hit triangle. Oh my god! That was really close. Good to know I've got a hot BOD. I'll say. Bodyguard on demand. Uh. Whoa. Sexy and smart. Roll up your tongue and let's get back to the lodge, hot bod.
again. And how are we feeling? I believe that in our last session, you were not completely honest with me. I am an expert with years of experience. You don't think you can mislead me. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Oh, I think it's women. So this is supposed to be putting me, that was actually pretty cool, this is supposed to be putting me into the shoes of the killer, I think, making me identify with them. Oh man, yeah, I, I wouldn't say crowds scare me, but I hate them way more than I hate planes. Oh, let's go. I feel fear heights I hear there's a really great sense of euphoria when you're drowning so you know that that might actually be okay but falling from a skyscraper to my death I mean you'd just be horrible uh, snakes scare me rats scare me S snakes definitely Guns? <laughs> I, oh god, this is gonna be like, um, like Silent Hill Shattered Memory, where they're gonna use all of this against me. I am. Snake, snakes again. So, I can either face lots of snakes or snakes and some co cockroaches. So, uh, snakes. Still definitely snakes. <laughs> that clown scares me. Gore. I'm not even sure what, what how that's. Oh. Did that startle you? So yeah. Sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. This psychiatrist is a real. Try to vicious, speed up. creepy The more you dick. rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Oh, spiders, no doubt. Oh, I hate them so much. If they had house centipedes, those things that you find here in Illinois, um, the they look like just massive giant silverfish with like a billion legs. That would take the cake. Uh, gore. Keep going. Some zombies aren't clowns, I guess. Zombies aren't even real. Um, gore still? I love dogs. If they said wolves, that would be one thing, but dogs are great. Storms do not scare me. I'm from Orlando, Florida, and grew up in, you know, experiencing hurricanes all the time. Thank you for answering so diligently. Spiders, clowns, and awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon.
So, it looks like that was the end of chapter one. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it there for tonight. Um, initial impressions. Uh, beautiful game. Uh, reminds me a lot of my um, some of my favorite Quantic Dream experiences. Uh, the voice acting is incredibly good. The writing is, I think, going for um, faux camp. I think it's a good writer writing poorly. I think that's the point. And the weird sort of uh, Native American elements that might be tying into this slasher story um, I'm really intrigued about. I have a feeling this is going to be a really good experience. Um, I've been trying to keep myself away from other reviews, but uh, I've read a little bit, and I think I'm really going to enjoy this game. So, um, <laughs> not a lot of people have shown up to this stream. Uh, there have been a few in and out throughout, but uh, obviously this is going to be up on my page as a um, uh, as a video. And um, if you do watch, please visit LudoNarrativeAscendance.com. I will have a review up on Monday, hopefully. And uh, then I'm going to be moving straight on to the Phantom Pain on Tuesday from there and probably um, doing some streaming of that from my PC and doing some impressions. So um, thank you very much for checking this video. Again, my name is Wesley Scott, and uh, have a good night. <laughs>